This podcast is brought to you by MyBookie. It's a fun website where you can bet on just about anything and win big bucks in return. MyBookie is so nice to sponsor us, and they've given us a special promo. If you use promo code MEGACAST, you can double your first deposit. But you'll hear more about this halfway through the podcast at the next ad read. Oh, shit. Hey, guys. How's it going? It's uh, episode 209. 209. 209. 209 of the podcast. Hell yeah, brother. It's it's um another beautiful, beautiful day in 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 COVID nation. And sunny Los Angeles. Do people actually get demonetized for saying coronavirus no, or COVID? No. Or is that just like No, a, no. I, I think that if maybe if you make <laughs> a video YouTube doesn't want you to talk about like controversial stuff. But so like if we mention COVID on a podcast talking about it in relation to our daily lives, no. But I'm, I'm, if we, I'm sure if we made a video like, COVID, uh, it's, uh, killing, COVID's fake. Only 9,000 people have died. Yeah. Then they'll like demonetize that. But if we're just talking about it in our, they haven't demonetized, uh, I made the COVID-19 rap. It's in the title. Oh, they didn't, yeah. They didn't demonetize that. I made a whole uh, $40 off that just a rumor that, that just started amongst YouTubers? Yeah. That was like, you can't mention it. I guess some people might have been demonetized and maybe they- just guessed that it was be for that reason. Well, they got demonetized because YouTube has a little blacklist. Yeah. Well, I and feel they like demonetize people they don't like. Whenever someone talks about the algorithm, it's never a it's never a science. I mean, people have their insiders, and we've known some quote unquote insiders at uh, YouTube. But like at the end of the day, it's like those insiders don't even know <laughs> no. what's going on. I remember one told us like someone that knows the algorithm that is actually like works at YouTube is like w- there's no rhyme or reason to it. <laughs> I know. it just it's it's an AI essentially it, it learns and then it just does its own shit and the algorithm sucks 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 uh may I say balls I guess I I, I haven't really noticed it so I mean it's it was worse in the past it seems to be a little better yeah, now it hasn't actually for, really hurt us I say that and then I know your boy Moist Critical <laughs> uh, had had a recent spat about it, and then and then Markiplier came in to help. I did see that, and then they struck his video. Yeah, that Which whole is, thing was bullshit. But then they unstruck him. Both yeah, because they didn't double down. They doubled down, and then they were like, "Oh, uh oh, <laughs> God!" But luckily, I mean, I'm knocking on wood when I say this because I'm superstitious. Um, the algorithm has been. Decently good to us. No, not as many yellow. No, uh, like we've been generally okay whatever's. with monetization. Like we do get demonetized. Yeah. Actually, it's mainly the podcasts, which is why the ad reads are good because almost most of the podcast episodes recently have been getting demonetized because they're like bad, super mega bad, <laughs> bad, super bad. Mega. <laughs> you talked about penis on podcast. No money. I, I, I honestly like I don't understand like why media like TV show. I get that genitalia is a crass subject but i don't understand the demonetization of talking about something that literally about 50 percent of the world's population has on their person at any given time penis a penis yes is it 50 percent? i actually want no i think there's more females than males in the world i nice, believe nice more know, pussy out taking there. over nice hey we need more babies to be born mm-hmm. hey and my 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 sperm is ready you know <laughs> but basically fucking um like It's funny that they'll take ads off of it because they're like, advertisers wouldn't like this. Mm -hmm. Yet, advertisers come directly to our podcast. I've also noticed a lot uh, more ads, and maybe it's just because of the type of the uh, the type of the YouTube I watch. It's a weird form of the sentence, but um, they'll they'll be the quote unquote cool ads where they'll say fucking and they'll curse in the ads, or they'll be you know they'll they'll be a little edgy, and it's like okay, so. Obviously, I guess YouTube was going in the route of we're going to make all of our money off of Ryan's toy reviews and not me, Ryan. There's a young kid that most people should know of because he's like popular as fuck. Eight million a month or some shit. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like that's what YouTube was trying to get on. They were trying to like have they're trying to kind of be the next Disney channel, if that yeah, makes sense. like only kid stuff, and then they backpedal that hard. They're like, actually, uh, no, not no, you shouldn't have any kid stuff on YouTube. Because <laughs> now we're demonetizing kid stuff. Well, because pedophile. Pedophiles ruin all the fun, Matt. Thanks, Matt Watson. I'm not calling myself a pedophile, I'm saying- that Also, that Matt Watson isn't a pedophile. That Matt Watson. I'm not he, calling him a pedophile, I'm that, saying thanks for uh, making my name- uh, Synonymous with- With, with pedophile yeah. exposure. Yeah. Which is not a bad thing to be pedophile exposure. 
But like I said, Google search engine optimization, Matt Watson, child exploitation yeah. is one of the first things. So yeah. someone from my high school, it's like, I wonder how Matt Watson's doing. Looks up my name, Matt Watson, child exploitation. It's like, God fucking damn it, that Matt Watson. Cu- fuck you. That makes me curious. I want to Google myself. I know the first thing that's going to come up is the fucking Markiplier wiki probably. Every time we search Super Mega, the first thing is the Markiplier See, wiki. Yep, yep. Ryan McGee, Markiplier wiki. Uh, and then under that is the Super Mega wiki. And then right under that is my Twitter account, then my Instagram, then Famous Birthdays, then IMDb, where, you know, I've I've starred in such things as... Um, Markiplier's mini sketch montage three. Yep. Also, uh, we starred in uh, We're Back. Um, <laughs> Sitting in the hall of Russell House in <laughs> South Carolina, horribly depressed. Depressed out of our minds because of the loss of our close friends. You can see um, it in that video. It's like... Dude, but I'm glad IMDb gave me credit for that. You know, I worked really hard on my performance in that video. Yeah, you your acting was fantastic. <laughs> I, you looked so sad. You you pull, pulled it off perfectly. Thanks, man. Dude, because I put something on Spotify, I get this little thing now. It says musical artist. Ooh. But I don't know how they choose these pictures. Wait, but I have a question, man. I was going to do this to kind of troll you, but I, I backpedaled because I didn't want to. I didn't. I did. I didn't want you to think I was making fun of you, you know? I was going to try to release an album on the same day at the same time, except it would be just me mumbling to myself with fart noises. Dude, I don't care if you ever do shit like that. It's so funny. (laughs) Like, I was going to really release it on the same day, same time and everything and like put out tweets. It's like, well, if you want to, that album's cool and everything, but yours gets like so many plays (laughs) and mine's just snubbed by the algorithm. Well, what's funny when you search me on Google is, uh, yeah, Markiplier Wiki is the second thing that comes up. But there are other Matt Watsons that it mixes my information with because I guess the people that write this don't really know who I am. So they just kind of like mix it together. So there's like a, a Matt Watson country singer that has a song called Don't Tread on Me. On I, I, I saw that on, a, I think, a sub, the subreddit. And there's also a... <clears throat> which I should probably stop visiting. <laughs> there's a uh, fisherman named Matt Watson that dives out of helicopters and tackles swordfish, which is pretty badass. May, may I preface something real quick? Because I know, I know people are all of a sudden like their, their spidey sense. I don't, I'm not saying that I don't like, it's just not good for my mental health to just constantly look at people's opinions of yeah, my no, stuff. Exactly. That's, that's it. It's not, I hate the food. Because no, I like checking that stuff every now and then, but <clears throat> I, I was talking to <clears throat> Meat Canyon about this yesterday. I was like, it's, uh, because you naturally want to know if people are talking about you, you want to know what they're saying. Yeah. Like if you see people whispering about you, you want to know, it, but it's you not You want to know the gossip. But then you're like, oh, well now my feelings are hurt. Um, but my, my wikis are all mixed up where it'll be like there's another guy named Matt Watson who did a vlog channel. Why do we actually have a Wikipedia page? for, I, for our, Are we not famous figures enough? Are we not big enough figures? Well we do have a we are mentioned we actually on Wikipedia there is like a thing but it redirects uh, it redirects whenever you click on my name. But if you go to my high school and look up famous alumni it says Ryan McGee YouTuber if you click on my name it takes you to uh, the star. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I love that. It takes you to the star. Yeah, hold up. I'll do it for you real quick. Unless um, they changed it. Let's well, on, on Wikipedia, when it goes to like the page of Matt Watson's, and it's like, it may reference, it used to have me on here, and actually now I'm gone, so I guess they someone took see, me look, off. See, there, that's, uh, this is the list of alumni, uh, and then I'm going to click on my name, YouTuber. And it just goes to the fucking star? Yeah, G Scorpi. <laughs> but, AKA. But, but I'm not, I, I, I'm looking through G Scorpi. I don't think I'm mentioned in this you are in once. the uh the popular culture section right is there a pop i don't even see a popular i see properties references reference no there used to be a section that was like it was talked about on i think they took that down god damn it wikipedia i know these fucking losers really want to protect this unknown star wait a second so there used to be wikipedia or super mega would show up on certain wikipedia pages but it would redirect to game grumps i think uh <laughs> But I am on, if you search, like, list of uh, notable people from South Carolina, we're on that list, I believe. Yeah, but if you click on my name, guess where it takes you? To to a fucking star. If you click on your name, where does it take you? Let me see. Okay. Go on the Wikipedia page. uh, List of people from Charleston, South Carolina. Entertainers. Angry Grandpa. Rest in peace. Um, Dude, I used to be on here. I think they took me off. Go to go to your high school. You're in famous alumni, slavery sure. related people. Oh, there I am. Uh, writers and artists. Nope, nope. Well, they 
they fucking took me off. I was on here because I thought it was cool. I was like, whoa. And then, uh, nope. wait, can I look? Famous people of Columbia, South. Let me see. Famous people, Columbia. Well, would they put me in Columbia or Irmo? Probably Columbia. We'll let see. me let me go to my high school's Wikipedia page. Is there a Wikipedia for a list of Colombians? Uh, is Colum like from people from Columbia? Maybe. <laughs> Damn it. Not on my high school's page either. No, this is definitely like Colombians. Look, Columbia. I'm talking about Columbia, South Carolina, you fuck. Welcome to the episode where we just scour Wikipedia for ourselves <laughs> to help our egos get bigger, but then we don't find ourselves. Here, here's Ryan McGee on the Super Mega Wiki. Uh, Alias is Ryan McGoggles, Eli Ryan McGee. Dude, the fucking Super Mega Wiki is a nightmare. Why? Do you want me to do you want me to read some of yours? Yeah. Uh Ryan McGee is an American content creator and diplomat, best known for his funny YouTube video Kangaroo Jack Funniest Scene Reaction. Probably McGee true. is currently recorded on the California Sex and Arson Registry under Megan's Law. I'm not. Ryan McGee, father, lover, friend, uh born July 6, 1940, None of those. is a well, Kazakh politician of. currently serving as the chairman of the Security Council of Kazakhstan, who previously served as the first president of Kazakhstan. An office for 24 an office from 24 April 1990 into his. I think they just copied some actual Kazakhstan leaders thing and just replaced your name. I was with about it. to say either it was that or just some manic. No, the whole thing, even like early life, is about like Kazakhstan. That's actually pretty funny. Right, it's literally the whole Wikipedia page <laughs> for the president of. You do have a section for the colon. No, it's literally just the Wikipedia article about colons. I swear to God, if I got that colonoscopy and he looked around. And I find out that he just missed colon cancer as he was just eating his sandwich, giving me a colonoscopy. <laughs> a I'm doctor gonna, just casually eating pissed. his lunch while doing that. Well, the first time I met this, I met up with this doctor. He's like, oh, I hope you don't mind. I just, I need, uh, I need to eat lunch. And so he was like eating. Like, so what seems to be the problem? And I'm like, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pooping blood. Oh, in mm, interesting. Mm. So what other symptoms do you have? Well, um, my shit is liquid. Mm. I, 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 I honestly believe that he got more enjoyment for from me, like describing the consistency of my bowel movements. And it made his eating of that sandwich more pleasurable. Like some people have that thing where if you tell them or show them something gross while they're eating, it ruins their meal. But he maybe has an opposite thing where it enhances the flavor. Yeah. Can you if you're eating something and uh, you see something gross or like, does it ruin your appetite or are you able to still eat? Well, he, okay, I brought this up with someone actually recently, and the reason I have such a strong gag reflex is because for some reason, whenever I see something, like if I, if I see dog poop on the ground, and like if I walk past and I kind of smell it and I'll start gagging, it's not because it smells so bad I'm gagging. Like I can handle the smell of poop. It's because my brain, for some reason, and this happens a lot with disgusting shit, as you've seen, my brain will be like, now picture that in your mouth. It's an intrusive and thought. I'm like, now, now I'm picturing it kind of like filling my mouth and like the texture. And I like, had the same thing as a kid. And I start gagging. And so that's why, that's why my gag reflex, it's because I picture that thing in my mouth. Because when you smell it, it's so closely linked to taste. And there's a party brand that's like, well, let's make it even worse. Exactly. It's intrusive thoughts, dude. They suck. Like with, uh, it's a big thing in OCD. And OCD, it's like, like a, I'll be holding a baby. Like someone's like, here, How hold many this. Baby? Like, I hold babies every day. Okay. Um, but like if I was holding, I remember at church one time, someone gave me a baby to hold. And I remember in my head, I was like, I could throw this baby. I could throw this baby across You could. The and it's like, I never would. But it's like, what if I throw this baby? What if I lose control and throw this baby? Fuck. And I had to hand the baby back before I threw it. Do you think there's ever been an instance where a doctor just delivered a baby and then it just fucking threw it against the wall or the ground? Because he was just crazy. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to do it. This is the day. Imagine delivering a baby and then you drop it right away. Sounds like most super mega fans. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, no, but I, I get that too. I used to have it really bad when I was a kid. Like if I was eating, I saw a cockroach, then like all the food I was eating in my head, I'd be like, oh no, it feels like I'm eating a cockroach. But then I got over that when I ate an actual cockroach. Or to be fair, I didn't eat it. I chewed it. Um, <laughs> I saw a comment on that recently where someone was like, I watched your cockroach video while I was on acid. 
And the faces you were making when you ate the roach like terrified me and gave me a bad trip. That's the reason when Tucker was doing those faces when you and I dropped acid together. Oh, fuck. Tucker's just going, ooh, ooh. I and was legitimately upset with him. At I the was time. too. I was like, you're ru like you're ruining this this beautiful thing. We're we're trying to relax and Tucker keeps like looking at us and opening his eyes really wide, which on acid makes it look like his eyes are like Looks like a fucking ant. Like a, do, 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 do. It, it looks. He, he started to look like an anamorph, like an anamorph between Tucker and a sugar glider. <laughs> it was terrifying. Or Tucker and the and the and the mouse from I believe in miracles. You sex a thing, the piece sex of a thing, you. But I remember he would go hoo, 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 yep. and make all these faces and and flicker the lights. I'm like Tucker, we are on a psychedelic drug. Please that, don't do that. That is changing the way we we. We see the physical world, my man. Yeah. So uh, he still denies that. Tucker goes, I wasn't doing anything. It's like, all right, Tucker. I say what we do is we force, we secretly sneak four tabs of acid into something Tucker And then eats, we just and then put, him through, <laughs> we put, him, we put him through a nightmare. We lock him in a room and then sometimes burst and go. <gasps> Turn and then, the heater up all and the then, way. And then leave and make it really silent. So it's like. Because you know when it's really silent and you're on acid, it's this weird kind of like, what the fuck? Well, because you get the auditory hallucinations. Yeah. Where it's like you hear little. I haven't dropped. I haven't done any of that in so long. I, think I haven't I'd, either. I think I'd want to do, honestly, just because it's COVID. Uh, never mind. I don't want to get into that. I don't want to be like, hey, audience, you know what you should do? Drugs. <laughs> now, we had a big talk about on one podcast about psychedelics. I think as long as you're safe and you know what you're getting into and you're prepared, it's okay. In moderation. Psychedelics are not something you should do a lot. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't done... Last thing I did, I did shrooms like months ago, but be, I haven't done anything since. Be very aware that even with weed, people it, discover uh, certain mental illnesses. Yeah, like psychedelics can definitely bring things to the, to the surface. surface. So be, honestly, uh, we're not condoning the use of psychedelics. We're just saying if you choose to do it, know what you're getting into. Um, a just, good time. Yeah, a good time. Just stick to good old meth. A little well, bit of crack. Why not? A little crack. Crack never hurt anybody. A little crack so, rock. So I bought this this Crap. app speaking of drugs and addiction so right now <sighs> hold on I, I broke matt i broke what'd you do what is that that's it's a it's a time smoke free <gasps> and this is the amount of time since i've smoked my last cigarette 11 hours 33 minutes and 15 seconds good for you man yeah my oxygen levels are back at 100 percent. unfortunately my carbon monoxide levels 44 percent. you know you know but i still got you know that's poison Poison. It is poison. Nicotine is brain poison. But I like this app. It, it tells you how much you're saving as you're quitting. Oh, that's cool. Um, gamifying I'm, is the way to do that's, anything. That's what's worked for me. Just gamifying shit. Turning real life into a video game. But dude, I was reading up like more on just addiction and nicotine addiction. And it was actually, I was on this subreddit called r slash stop smoking. And it, I got legitimately sad for how so many people are just stuck like I am and just like glued to this drug. Cause like I actually, before this 11 hours, I was, I was almost 48 hours clean, almost two days clean. But this craving I had, it's got that itch you had this to craving. I took, I took like, I, I went on the uh, elliptical and I just wore myself out there. And then later I got another craving. So I just went on a walk for, That's a, good, for a few miles. And then I got another craving and I went on a walk and then I just could Low, I, I wasn't. Hey. I wasn't strong enough. Hey. I tried to distract myself. We're only human, right? But I, I am, like, I am keeping track of how long I'm smoking. I, like, I don't plan to smoke another cigarette. Like nice, that's nice. But if the temptation gets there, that for those who have successfully quit, what are the best methods not to quit, but for when you have a craving? To either satiate that craving without smoking a cigarette or distract yourself from that craving. Sunflower seed. <laughs> well, if you have an oral fixation, the what I found- The, the was, craving isn't just putting a cigarette on. It's it's breathing in the smoke and feeling the smoke fill my lungs and then exhaling that smoke. It's a nice feeling because I, for example, uh, I've been a little bad boy because I'm, I've am i been fully off nicotine. Uh, but I was in a smoke shop this week and they're about to ban all of the- like fruit flavored, like disposable ones. So Carson and I yeah. got one to just to pop on for the weekend. Of course. And uh, God, I instantly felt like shit. I was in the car. I was like, Phew. and I was like, oh, I mean, I was like, oh, yeah. It makes my head feel heavy. Makes you, makes you anxious. horrible, dude. Mm -hmm. Like 
but once you're free from it, you're gonna feel amazing. Well, I just Toothpicks need help. I just need this timer to get to three days, and then the nicotine will be out of my system. And then after that, I'm gonna have to. It's I think it's one to three months, and then uh, my craving should be that of someone who not has never smoked, but Mildly. manageable at that point. Well, just remember. You're always going to have cravings even 10 years from now. Yeah. But don't, it's always going to pop up every now and then because your brain remembers it's good. But don't, as long as you can say, oh, I've gotten past it before. I can, I read actually uh, cravings is addiction leaving your body because yeah. every time you feel it and you don't give into it, that, it's, like with it's rewiring your brain. Yeah. It's like with uh, medications, with uh, apparently nicotine is is similar to heroin addiction. <laughs> Nicotine's a what? Oh, it's one of the most addictive things in the world. Yeah, or the most addictive thing in the world, or something. One of them, heroin, yeah. nicotine, and uh, alcohol. I think are the three most addictive substances. Yes. But um, oh, caffeine. You know, <laughs> I could go, yeah, I need my coffee in the morning. Why don't you replace that with caffeine? It's also a stimulant. You'll get a buzz from it. Dude, and last you'll time be I right had away. coffee, I just literally shit liquid, and it smelled like coffee. Like I just, it went right through my system. Well, if you get more used to it, you can Maybe. wake up. Here's what. Here's what I do. I wake up. I drink coffee and then I immediately take a nice morning shit. Ooh. Every morning. Every morning I do take a shit. And I've my stomach's been feeling a tad better ever since I switched to um oat milk instead of I love oat milk. 2%. I have a Oatly. Yeah. Oh, dude, Oatly's, Oatly's the really best. good. Oatly's it's, the it, best. it tastes kind of like a this might put people off. I mean, oatmeal, yeah, but like it kind of tastes similar to Soylent in a sense, in a way. I see that. Because not in a bad way though. I'm trying, you know, I like. There's still nothing like a no good old whole milk, two percent, whatever. You like just milk because I don't really drink milk anymore. Uh, but recently, I did buy a thing of the Horizon organic, like you know the red, because mm -hmm. that's the best. And it I is. got it. And I had the other day. I had. I was like, I just gotta get real milk for a little bit, just a little bit. And I made a bowl of Cinnamon Life. I ate that. And I was like, Ooh, dude. But oat milk's the closest thing I've found to real milk because soy milk is good, but it. Has a bit of a flavor. Almond it's kind of watery. Milk sucks. Almond milk. I like almond milk. Almond but milk's the worst. There's coconut milk and rice milk. There's those probably suck too. Coconut milk's pretty good. I like coconut and oat milk the best. But oat milk I found is like the creamiest, closest. The MVP. To. I like oat milk and coffee. It's really Ooh. good in coffee. But yeah, I haven't had lactoid or lactate or whatever because I, I haven't had cheese in a while. Too. Well, no, I haven't. The last time I had cheese was. Last week, so it's been a little over a week. Yeah, no. Do you have an app for that too? <laughs> no, <laughs> like last time since cheese. No, but I do. Um. Oh, I also saw people wondering like what app I use to count calories or whatever. I use the most popular app I think out there. Um, it's called My Fitness Pal. It's an I think it's an Under Armour, like branded thing. Oh. But um, yeah, My Fitness Pal. It's it's great. Um, you can just kind of set your own personal goal or let it do its own calculations, judging on your height and weight about like how many calories you should be eating a day. And then it uh, will calculate a calorie deficit for you if you want to lose on average one pound a week, two pounds a week. I'm going a bit overboard because I'm, I, I've gotten tired of, of n not um, being nice to my body and I'm kind of giving myself a whiplash in a sense. I'm a, uh, oh, I weighed myself. I'm 195. Hey! So dude, you're losing weight fast. Because last time I talked to you, you were like, I'm 205. Damn, yeah. dude. Started at 211. So fast. Could I lose weight that fast? You could gain weight that fast. If it's you funny wanted. because like the first amount of losing or gaining is always like it happens. Then you hit a point where it's like much harder all of a sudden. Well, I recently, well, there's multiple plateaus I hit. Like I recently hit a plateau that lasted about a week, maybe a little more than a week where I was stuck at. 199 and 202 and then one day like uh, the next day all of a sudden it just was 196 and i'm like okay so there it just kind of drops at some point and the Sometimes plateau stops because shit it'll when you take a shit or your body is retaining a uh, water, water yeah um yeah yeah i mean your weight fluctuates also throughout the day i've gained 15 pounds this year that's good so i was one you also got a little beginning. pooch yeah not, not like a tummy a little, it's, it's, it's just part of, uh, you know, growing up, your boy's growing up, your little boy's becoming a big man. Matt, it's, I swear it's a beer to, belly. I swear if you, if you keep eating, cause I know you love eating rice, but if you, if you eat rice and then pair that up with a nice fucking thing of chicken, 
and you start lifting, come on, man, you're going to be... You're going to be looking like that guy that people thought you were on Instagram. The hot version of me? I mean, you're already beautiful, Matt. Fine, please. Come on. Look at that. Look at those eyes. Look at that smirk. I can't look at my eyes. If you had a mirror, you could. I'm or looking, if, you, if you looked at your phone. I'm already looking at a more beautiful pair of eyes. Oh, my God. More beautiful pair of... Well, I closed my eyes, so now well, you can't see them. And you can't see mine. Sorry. Well... Now I'm turning my head. And the viewers can't see him either. <laughs> That's too bad for them, isn't it? They wish they could look into our eyes, but sorry. I know. Mm -mm -mm. Those those Arabs sure sure took the gene pool when it came to me. I don't have any blue eye. I don't have any. I don't have. Well, I guess the Irish did a uh, <laughs> people's ears perked up. They're like, did he just? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, the Irish gave me some sort of auburn beard and the, um, and the Palestinian just gave me all, you know, brown eyes, brown eyebrows, brown hair, br just hairy. So, yeah, I, I didn't get the hairy gene except my armpits and my ass crack. My legs are like, I, I wouldn't say I have hairy legs, you know, but my armpits, longest ass hair and my ass crack, dude. Fuck, <sighs> it's a jungle down there. Is that, dude, I, I, I was, look, I was watching TikTok. And the reason you, it's it's always linked to it. This isn't me just bringing up TikTok and not wanting to talk about your no, dude, hairy bring ass. Up, bring up TikTok anytime. No, I love this. It. This will coincide with your hairy ass because it got me thinking. Um, there's this TikTok going around. I think it's it's kind of like, nah, look at this boy. He doesn't let the water run between his ass cheeks. I bet you his ass smells or something like that. Something along the lines of that. And bunch of girlfriends do it to their boyfriends blah 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 what do they it, do they they play that sound while filming their boyfriends and the boyfriend hears it and they're like oh my ass stinks i guess haha <laughs> i should and the girlfriend's like you should wash your ass and the boyfriend's like i guess i should wash my ass the That's... whole meme of like guys don't really clean themselves yeah, yeah especially yeah. their asses so it's the whole meme is girlfriends outing their boyfriends for not washing their ass well and it got me thinking i'm like i i'm so proud of myself for for making that change because when I first moved out here even before then I was a stinky gooched boy yeah a, a little bit now I I slide my hand all up in there oh you got it I, man it's and, great and then I then I take my ass cheeks and I go you know I spread you them and I let the water run like a beautiful waterfall eroding the rock that is my ass to cleanliness you got what I do is I have a I have, I have, I have soap I forgot the fucking brand it's like the oval bottle and the little white lid and it's just like liquid mm -hmm. squirts on my hand do this oh soapy and then I stick it down there yes. and I just oh god I rub all around the anus mm -hmm. all in the gooch and some you know this is something that I have to do this might be TMI but because I have such a hairy ass I will actually start kind of pinching the hairs because there's some lint throughout the underwear days and I'll just pick out the little lints in my ass hairs while I'm showering you save them for me uh, they're probably down there I'll start, I'll we'll start, start saving, saving them for you yeah, yeah. Christian uh you know, Christian, who's staying with me right now, crashing on my couch, he he shares my shower, and I don't know what it is, but every time he showers, he sheds, like, this much hair. Please don't tell me he just puts it on the wall and leaves it there. No, it's it's it just sits on top of the drain. So every time I get in the shower, it's like, okay. You know what he should do? Clean up after himself. Yeah, if he was a good fucking person, he would. Yeah, because he's not paying rent. Not right, right now, no. See, so he... He should be cleaning up after himself. I'll bring it up to him, actually, because when we were roommates in a, a freshman year in college, it was the same thing. Well, now I feel like an asshole. I'm just like, yeah, so uh, he's a bad roommate because of this. Uh, anyway, <laughs> just like on a public podcast. We're all bad. No, we're he's all a great bad roommate. roommates for our own reasons. He was, uh, when I lived with him for a year in college, he was a fantastic roommate. He was quiet. He was clean. Um, Except for when he burst in and choked you out that one time. Yes, that was, I like that. You deserved it. Possibly, maybe it, I, it might have been a slight overreaction, but you had something coming. Yes. You did deserve some sort of retribution it was for the your pranks. actions. Because freshman year, I pranked <laughs> Christian so much, and uh, he 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 blew up on me once, uh, and like grabbed me by my shirt and threw me into a wall. Uh, but I'm I wish I, I could have. I wish I could have witnessed. That. Jackson saw it. Ask Jackson about it. I will. I will tonight because I'm 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 coming over. We're gonna we're gonna have some sausage. I gonna think. grill up in the grill in the backyard. Oh yeah. Have, maybe have a couple cigars. Maybe have a cigar maybe and a people, glass of wine. Hey, you're quitting cigarettes. Why are you smoking a cigar? Cigars aren't cigarettes. I'm not gonna have a. Cigars are special. Also, occasions. this was Jackson's idea. Yeah. This wasn't Ryan trying to be like, oh, what's another way I can smoke without yeah. cigarettes? 
I'm excited though. I'm not a big fan of cigars, but maybe I'll have one tonight. They make still me nauseous. A, you still get a buzz from a cigar. You do, yeah. Just having in your mouth. I just like them because they're just something to pass the time with and conversate, you know? They feel classy. Yeah, exactly. And they do smell really good. Mm hmm. Um, but. I'll, uh, but they're men, they're, dude. There are dudes who smoke like multiple cigars a day. I couldn't imagine. Brent Lilly. Brent Lilly. Brent loves. He Brent does would, have nice cigars. He though. does. He's he, a big cigar guy. He gave he, me a cigar when we uh, did our social distanced uh, luau. Uh, that would have made me puke because I was hungover. The, I was like, I do not want a cigar. <laughs> cigars are if I'm really drunk. Cigar will make me puke within five minutes. Yeah, I've had bad well, experiences with whiskey and cigars. The my see Jackson likes this part of. Smoking a cigar. It's my least favorite part. It's getting it lit. Like having to. Oh, you gotta suck it. Because it's a, you get so lightheaded and you have to like tend to it like you would a fire. But I, I like a cigar when it's just, when it's already lit and you can just have a puff every now and then and it just is going. I remember I smoked, my dad and I went camping and he was like, son, look what I brought. And he brought a cigar. And I remember we had a nice time around the fire, but that's the first time I ever had to light a cigar. And my dad had to help me. And I remember because I was sucking it it just i inhaled so much of the smoke <laughs> um it was horrible yeah but, unfortunately you know. there you're not i'm like you're not supposed to inhale cigars for those who don't know no no my dad cigarellos I, people get away with inhaling it for some reason you can some people black do. And mild. i wouldn't i i would but I, I, like, I also inhale cigarettes so that might be a little the cigarellos would get you too buzzed i like the taste of certain black and milds like i just like sweet jazz flavor i love sweet Wine flavor favorite. with the wood tip? Yeah. I actually do have a, a jazz flavored one in my room if you want it tonight. Maybe that's what I'll smoke. It's wood tipped. I remember back in the days when you couldn't just go to a shop in California for marijuana. Back in South Carolina, you know, you, you weed was given to you in a, like a Ziploc bag or something wrapped in tin foil. And I remember going to, you know, the Exxons or whatever and asking for, you know, some whatever flavored papers they had. Ooh. And the thing was, I was always nervous. I was like, the person at this gas station is going to know that I'm buying it for weed and then they're going to tell it's the gonna cop. going to press the alarm button. But then it's like, they don't give a shit. Dude. They probably smoked weed before their shift. We should make super mega rolling papers. Well, then we're promoting people burning uh, burning things into their lungs. Well, you can make uh, things good. that you don't smoke with rolling papers. Can like we incense? do super mega edibles, actually? I This weekend, uh, me and the boys had our friend Annabelle over and... Uh, she when she comes over cute picture of her on the couch and all of y'all standing behind the couch shirtless and black huh no y'all are um, black no yeah uh unless you wanted to wear black face i would not wear black face i wouldn't face do if the I black face you. no uh i would I, uh, jackson yes harrison yes christian definitely yes carson maybe well, i well they have a family out. history of black face oh yeah they're it dad, goes down generations it. it's it's kind of like a tradition every year they get together and do this big family black face cookout and i went to one once very uncomfortable yes um however uh our friend annabelle had an edible over at our <laughs> house this weekend and the, we were watching say the brand because this is my favorite brand of smokies. edibles i love i love smokies so i had a uh, half one and, and she had a whole one and then we're all sitting on the couch it was me harrison uh, his girlfriend Amanda and C Christian Carson we're all just chilling and uh, we're watching Fire in the Sky which have you seen that movie it's from the 90s it's about that guy in Arizona that got abducted by aliens what? based on like a true story oh is, the, is that the one with the creepy scene where it's just like they put the shit over his face and then they cut it yep, open yep. yeah okay and uh, we're watching it and that's then, the end of the movie I think yeah it's right at the end but she she looks at she looks over at all of us and she's like oh I'm too high. And I was like, bad high? She's like, yeah. And I was like, do you want to go lay down in my room? And then I was like, here, you, you can go lay down in my room and we'll finish the movie. And she like, she like goes and lays down my bed and she's like, <gasps> and I was like, uh oh. I was like, are you okay? <laughs> and I saw it on her face because you, you can, you see it when it's on someone's face. And I was like, bathroom, bathroom. Poor soul made it about halfway to the bathroom. And then I spent the rest of the movie cleaning it up. The number one sign to know you're about to throw up, and this happened to me when I was on my way back. I can't remember what I... It was when I had the fucking kratom, I think. I'm never having it again. I was doing it experimentally because I'm a dumbass, and you should never experiment with stuff. But anyways, I, I, I threw Except up... For gay sex. Yeah. I, the, the number one sign I knew I was about to throw up is I got out of my car, and then all of a sudden, my mouth started to get a little more moist. Start salivating, yeah. I start salivating, and I'm like, oh... 
my body's lubricating itself for a bunch of and, and, it's and, funny and, how it does that because it's like pukes acidic and it wants to protect your teeth and tongue so it'll start that's how and also when you can't really swallow you're like mm -hmm. yo I, I always know when it's coming uh I I, I enjoyed didn't she sleep on the bathroom floor? You sent me yeah. a picture of her sleeping she, on the bathroom floor. She crashed floor. at our place that night and slept the entire night on the bathroom floor. <laughs> she I tried to, such a miserable picture. I know. I tried to get her up. I was like, do you want to go sleep in my bed? Because you're on the bathroom floor. And she's like, okay. And I helped her up and immediately puked again. So I was like, okay. And then I couldn't get her up. So I literally just, I made, I just put towels on her as blankets and I brought a pillow and she slept all night. Okay. Very comfy. Oh, by the way, I just want to check to see if certain friends are still listening to the podcast of mine. Hey, uh, Jack and or Gray, who live in South Carolina, you know, if 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 I just called you Jack or Gray, text me and say, hey, I heard you. Hey, man, say my say say my name on the podcast. That's all. Same goes for Rav. Same goes for Bill Christian because he listens to our podcast. Does he? He does. Yeah. Okay. Same with uh, mom. I already know you're fucking listening. Yeah, mom, I don't need. You. I don't need to hear from you. Um, there's a few more. Hey, if we're mutuals on Twitter and you hear this, I'm talking to you. Hit me up. <laughs> DM me. Say, hey, I heard you mention me on the podcast. I don't th see. This is the thing. I don't. I I wouldn't figure that a lot of influencers would be listening to other influencers' podcasts. Because they're already in yeah, that world creating right? it, it themselves. Feels, it feels weird, but I'm. I, but I mean, I I watch a lot of other influencers' content a lot, so I, I get watch it. it when it pops up on trending. Like someone who pops up a lot for me is um, moist critical. He get yeah, oh my god, the algorithm loves him. Well, he's good at that fucking algorithm shit. He gets so many views too. Charlie, well, just Charlie's the a name, sweet man. The, the name of his videos and just the. Hey guys, I want to hear his opinion. Look, everybody is critical. <laughs> yeah. You should go on the podcast. Yeah, well, I uh, I rated him one time on Twitch. There's a clip out there, I think, and he's just like, "Thank you, Ellery." Oh fuck! Oh, how do you pronounce this? And I and I understand the pronunciation of my tag. It's not as simple as Matt Watson. It's well, mine's Math Watson. Yes, Matt H Watson, which is even better. My mine people are like Ellery McGee. What is it? And for me. This is how I pronounce it. It's just Eli Rye McGee because it's... That's how I do it. Yep. I used to say Ellery McGee, mm -hmm. like celery. But for me, it's Eli, like middle name, Rye, yeah. little short and first name, McGee. Exactly. Eli Rye McGee. Yep. Was Ryan, was at Ryan McGee taken? Uh, well, the reason it's Eli Rye McGee is because I we had to create an email or something like that that consisted of like that that was professional you couldn't name it bullshit or something it was for school specific oh so you just stuck with that username yeah and I, and I and i just stuck with it and so that's what it's been because it's my middle name elias and then ryan you know that's 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 it that's for me it's when i look at it it's like oh that's my that's my at but i can understand when people look at it it's like his name's ryan mcgee what the fuck is this i would think that your name's eli and yes. then Rye is your middle name. I'm seeing if but at, but Rye but Rye Eli McGee doesn't flow as well as Rye Eli Rye McGee. I searched uh, at Ryan McGee and it, you know the section of Google where it's like people also ask. <laughs> yeah. Did Matt and Ryan get fired? <laughs> yeah, uh, we did. We um, fired ourselves. Yeah, we, Uber's Ryan T McGee dot com. Let's see what this is. There's that guy who won the lottery. That's name is Ryan McGee. He looks very Russian. Says he looks. He looks. Uh, he doesn't look Russian to me. He looks uh, like the kind of typical ugly British dude with fucked up teeth and Jeez. a very receding hairline. See, he has that kind of like pointed, like those pointed features where he looks like a younger version of a homeless Putin. You know what I mean? <laughs> I fucking love that Ryan McGee guy because <laughs> before you got popular on the internet if you search ryan mcgee it would it was just this uh let me search guy ryan, holding up a giant check ryan mcgee lottery winner and there's articles about him because what this dude did <laughs> dude god he just dude you can just tell he's so british look at him can't you just see how british he is <laughs> I, I, <ain't> it. <laughs> I won the lottery ain't it? all the videos of him winning this eh uh but basically he won the lottery uh in the uk or something yeah in in england and uh it's just such a funny story because he he gets this nice ass Ferrari. So all the pictures like him with his like looking out the window of his Ferrari with the keys smiling. And then you keep going and like the next picture is just the car totaled on the side of the road. Uh, 
<laughs> Euro Millions winner Ryan McGee runs out of luck as he crashes 173,000 pound Ferrari into field. Dude, look at his fucking picture next to the Ferrari. Like, he's just smiling. <laughs> Ryan McGee, who won $6.4 million in 2008, was driving the Ferrari 458 Italia in treacherous conditions when the icy road got the better of him. Difficulties. Ryan McGee crashed through a barbed wire fence before his sports car went over a series of large rocks and ended up in a bush. Um, I like, wait, lottery winner Ryan McGee gets new driving ban? Wait, he got a driving ban. Dude, he... What'd he do? He's not responsible. A former, <laughs> I like it says former multimillionaire lottery winner, now said to be several steps behind square one, has been banned from driving and given community service. <laughs> what? Ryan McGee pleaded guilty to driving a Ford Focus along city's foil bridge in Londonderry last year while disqualified and without insurance. He's ordered to complete 200 hours of community service, dis disqualified from driving for five years and fined what? $250. The well, he can afford it. He won the lottery. No. No, wait, this is a different. No, it's the same Ryan McGee. It says, listen to this. I like this. Here's what it says. Former multimillionaire. That, that's a depressing title. Former multimillionaire Ryan McGee, now said to be several steps behind square one. Why does that always happen? Hold on. Something's, something's up. What? I thought I purchased <laughs> a certain song on Google Music or whatever, and it's not showing up in my library, but hold up. Let Get me... the fuck out of my Corvette. Yeah, let's... let's... Let's, uh, can I, let me see if I can switch accounts. Hey, while you're looking for that, do you want to do some effing ad reads? Yeah. <sighs> winning season returns at mybookie.com. Whoa, winning season means doubling your first deposit. Winning season means survivor, super contests, and squares. At my bookie. Winning season means hitting all your parlays and props with your feet up. Yeah. Watching your team trounce their rivals. That's right. You like fantasy football? You like betting on horse racing? You like betting on anything? <laughs> Rejoice. It's time to celebrate the NFL season sports 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 i kind of like them sort of but my stepdad loves sports and he's used my bookie to place bets and make tons and tons of tons of green and by green i mean money and he's used that money to buy himself a new corvette god is he the hottest stepdad in town oh Boy, invest in your intuition. Use promo code MEGACAST, Megacast and double your first deposit. New players get up to 1000 in free play. $1,000? Designed to add more excitement to the sports you love and the games you like betting on. From live betting to championship futures, every play you want to make is waiting for you at my bookie. It's simple. Make your picks win big. Collect your cash. Use promo code MEGACAST, Megacast. to double your first deposit. Your winning season begins today, only at my bookie. Go bet that money and get that cash in your pocket and go take a nice lady out on a date and say, look at all this money I won betting, and she'll go, wow, you're sexy because of all that money. I'm going to have sex with you because you bet all that money. She'll have sex with you probably. <laughs> Girls will have sex with you because of all the money you won. <laughs> <laughs> you know all the things we love to do for ourselves, but haven't done it for whatever reason? For me, I always wanted straighter teeth and a better smile. Well, I'm done putting it off, Ryan. And thanks to Candid, straightening my teeth is simpler, easier, and more comfortable than ever. Candid clear aligners are comfortable, removable, and practically invisible, unlike wire braces, so you can transform your smile without anyone noticing. Plus, your treatment is prescribed and monitored remotely by a licensed orthodontist who's an expert in tooth movement. Mm. And it's all done from the comfort and convenience of your own home. Candid only works with orthodontists, never general dentists like other companies. Plus, your supervising orthodontist will be with you every step of the way. With Candid, your treatment includes remote monitoring by the same orthodontist who created your plan, so you never have to wonder how you're doing. You'll always know. And I love that! The average Candid treatment is just six months. You'll start seeing results way before then, though. And it costs thousands less than braces. Because think about this. Braces are expensive, and no one wants that shit on your face. It's ugly. I'm just kidding. It's not. But, <laughs> you, you know, you'd rather much... You'd have but, a but clear... But Chris Stuckman had braces. How dare and you? he's a cutie for it. But... He'd be cuter if he had, you know, candid, clear or teeth if he, Well, his teeth are straight now. Well, actually, here's the thing. Y'all know I always have that snaggle tooth, 
And uh, I am I am going to be using uh, Candid actually very soon. I'm working on my plan with an orthodontist on their website right now to straighten out my teeth. And hopefully within six months, I will have some results to show you guys with some very straight teeth. So start straightening your teeth today. Right now, all our listeners can save $75 on Candid Starter Kit. Go to CandidCo.com slash super and use code super. That's what, Matt? Uh, CandidCo.com slash super. They probably want us to spell it out. Oh, yeah. That's Candid, C-A-N-D-I-D-C-O dot com slash super and use code super. Take advantage of this limited time offer to save $75 on your starter kit. CandidCO.com slash super. Code, code super. super. Get those straight teeth, guys. <laughs> nice. My Corvette. Get the fuck out my Corvette. Got a million different reasons that I could be upset. So get the fuck out my Corvette. So that yeah, um, Ryan found it. I found it. I I was searching through all the Google Play Music accounts. And I was like, which account did I buy it with? And it was just with an old Gmail that Matt and I used. So uh, we have located. Get the fuck Gotta out my Corvette. Download it before. That they, they take down Google Play, which Matt told me they're I think doing they're soon. Rid of Google Play Music, yeah, for some and, reason. Yeah, I and just it, saw that somewhere. But for those who don't know, this connects with the Ryan McGee because I believe X Blake Freeman X won the lottery, didn't he? Yes, he did. Wasn't he? Didn't he win a lottery? Yeah, and I think that he probably funded those videos with it because he had to rent a Corvette. I doubt that's actually Freeman his Corvette. Lottery. That's what I'm looking up. Blake X Freeman. Blake Freeman X. God, what a Mid-state legend! State man promises to split Powerball winnings. I Blake Freeman here. Is this? Oh, didn't he say he was going to give like everybody one dollar or something? Let's see. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, okay, so Chapel Hill. Uh, I forgot he's from Chapel but Hill, Tennessee. Oh. Uh, or some a Facebook post is blowing up after a Chapel Hill man posted his Powerball ticket and a contract offering to share his winnings with anyone sharing his post. If he wins, he's going to have a lot of checks to write. Yeah, I think I broke my Facebook, said Blake Freeman. The post kept getting more, more and more likes and more and more shares. Have you seen that online? Asked reporter Sabrina Hall. Yes, I actually shared it, said Brett Stallcup, a Chapel Hill resident. The 21-year-old wrote up a contract, or sorry, wrote up a contact with a promise. I, Blake Freeman, hereby agrees to equally share 100% of the earnings I win from the Tennessee Powerball drawing on Wednesday with all parties that like, share, and comment on my Facebook post. Um, so he didn't win it. He was just saying if he did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I just looked up X Blake Freeman X, and I find this article. Update. Terrible rapper X Blake Freeman X is not Nashville mayoral candidate Bill Freeman's grandson. <laughs> and it's just him with some like mayoral candidate. I don't know. Dude, he's tried he's tried to take it down, you know, take down everything. Did you know that aspiring YouTube rapper X Blake Freeman X, who has at least one Migos collaboration? What? He collab How the fuck did he collab with Migos? Wait. What the fuck? Wait, there's no way. What the fuck? What the fuck out my court bit? Why do I want to talk about why the fuck do people uh that win the lottery always fucking bombshell their life? I don't know. I just need to out my Corvette. My Corvette. Get the fuck out my Corvette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. You can't give everyone all of it. You got to save yeah, a little you're for right, us. You're right. You're right. You're right. Because you know. It's not special if everyone has it. <laughs> That's our little thing, man. Will you play that at my wedding? I will play it at your wedding. I'm so glad I have like a pristine, not not like a compressed version. Like you have the original I have audio. The original pristine. Make sure you save it. Like, audio. Download it. Oh, oh, 100. percent I I've been started saving a lot of my favorite YouTube videos, like the weird, obscure, like 200 view ones that I think are so funny. Because so because they get deleted a lot. I've actually I should I should start doing that with porn because there was one. Uh, porn video that I really liked that I had saved in my notes under like some it looked like I was like taking notes for something you know to, to hide the fact that it was a porn link <laughs> hidden in the notes. I love that <laughs> but I clicked on it you know recently and god damn it 
it's it's just not on the site. It was it wasn't even like a popular video. Dust in the wind. I don't understand it. Do they sometimes just make room on their porn servers by no, taking I think, out? No, I think people probably request it to be taken down sometimes. Maybe it's like, eh, maybe yeah. I shouldn't have done this porn. This was from years ago, man. Damn. It was just from a. Uh, it was just a webcam show in a in a car. Okay, well that's interesting. Maybe fans can find it for you. People were calling me simp for for uh, giving some of my money to for having an OnlyFans. Yeah, for having. Well, I don't have an OnlyFans, but. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, Ryan's supporting sex workers, guys. So f off. Shut up. People bought Playboy magazines Everybody, and people buy porn mags. Everyone I know <laughs> like, secretly has an OnlyFans account. Relax, people. Dude, I'm a huge Pokemon simp. <laughs> I have her posters in my room. <laughs> I, I, uh, what, do, what do you think her feet look like? God, I just love walk, watching Have you seen her stand up when she's wearing sweats, dude? Dude. <sighs> oh, fuck. Dude, Pokemon fart over compilation over 4K. The way has she ever what farted before? What the farts smell like, man? Dude, I bet you, I bet you she sprays her panties with chili sauce. Dude, what's that aroma those far smell oh, like? Oh, I bet man. your panties smell like chili, like a chili dog. Yeah, Sonic mouth. the Hedgehog is my favorite fucking character. Oh, I hope she never hears that. <laughs> I, I honestly, like, I don't think anyone from those circles will ever pay me any mind, so it's like I don't I ever Call care for what I say. Well, I mean... And Michael Reeves? They don't know. I've, I've met Michael. I've never met Carson. I went to, me and uh, Gus and Eddie and Jake uh, went to Dave and Buster's and Carson was there with some of the lunch club guys and I wanted to say hey to him but we was never- Was that time you went with Ethan too? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, never said anything uh, to him all night. <laughs> oh, that's good. And you know me, whenever um, I'm invited to those events, I go, uh, not tonight, <laughs> maybe another time. Okay, man. You know, well- I want to see if you can get this. What's my what's my favorite? What's my famous? It's an it's not an excuse. Before I even finish, uh, I got to get on for Lego. <laughs> let Lego, out of Lego. <laughs> now anyone who hears that is gonna be like, he just doesn't want to hang making out. It up. With me. He's making it up. <laughs> no, I do need to get home to Lego. Well, of course, but I don't. It's not gonna kill him. No, if, if, and it doesn't even mean that I don't like the people I'm being around. I literally just have a meter when I'm social where I just get too like nervous. I get nervous and I bet. just. I bet that's because you were an only child. I think so. Probably that conditioned you to be more like reclusive. Cool with, yeah. Because I've always found that I have a cousin who's an only child. He's super introverted. Yeah. And I usually find the most extroverted people I know are the people that grew up with like four or five siblings. Because they have like, to stand out always, from their other siblings. Yeah. And you're always around. Hey, mom, people. give me attention. Whereas my mom always gave me attention. Mm -hmm. I'd say, hey, mom, give me a kiss. Mom, es please. You know, especially when I wasn't living with her every now and then because I would switch off every week. Mm. They do a fucking like a drug deal at a gas station, except instead of drugs, it was just me. The best drug of all. The thing that gets me the highest in life. <laughs> I love those. I, I'm, man, I miss those gas station swaps. Nothing like it. Do you remember in the old apartment we lived in when we first started Super Mega? The guy that lived below us was this like 30 year old like Armenian dude that only rode around on a hoverboard. Yes. And do you remember he when we were being too loud? Or I guess when he thought we were being too loud, he'd take a broom and start do, 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 <laughs> yeah. do. And uh. We we're like, dude, and he was, he hated us and he was dick. But remember that one time we pulled up to a gas station in Glendale at nighttime and we see him on his hoverboard, go, hoverboard over to his car, open the trunk, take out two massive duffel bags and give it to someone, give it to someone else who puts it in their trunk. And then they both drove off. And I was like, did we just witnessed a drug deal. But if you remember, he was doing that deal while he was on his hoverboard. Yeah. I, one time I saw him down in the office of the apartment yelling at one of the staff people <laughs> while, he was, while he was on his hoverboard. And I was like, what a tool, man. People like that need to be thrown in a meat grinder and forgotten about. Yeah, that's kind of just erasing someone completely. Yeah. Which he does, which if you're, if, if you're yelling at, if you're yelling at someone while standing on a hoverboard, you're already in the wrong no matter what you're yelling at that person Like you for. could be yelling about like something that's the most right thing on earth. You could be saying uh, racism is bad, but because you're doing it on a hoverboard, you automatically look like a douchebag and your point is invalid. <laughs> I would love to see a, like a like the Antifa squad roll up in those. <laughs> it's like Antifa on hoverboards. <laughs> yes. I would love that. I would, well, I want to see the protest. cops are already on segways. I want to see a clash of protesters. So it's like white supremacists rolling up on hoverboards and like Antifa <laughs> rolling up on hoverboards. And they have this big clash. I mean, the, the riot police roll up on their hoverboards. 
We're joking, but there's legitimately like civil war death shit going on in our country. Yeah, which it's, is weird. it's a little it's a little wild right now. Which it's it's uh it is odd to uh No, to, I think it's perfectly normal. <laughs> to see and you know, people have always killed each other for a difference of opinion. That happens every day, multiple times. You can never ever get rid of it just because people are so if we pray ignorant. And stuck in their 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 ways of thinking. Ignorant. But it is I, I think it's more highlighted definitely now because of there's such a divide and Oh yeah. We're we're hitting it's a election season, in. baby. It's election year. It's the it's the worst year out of every four years. <laughs> I hate election year. I hate election year. I think I've grown to despise election years. You know, you get you get Old pasty man who forgets things, number one, or old pasty man who says things that he knows are lies, but says them anyway, number two. So it's like, who are we going to choose? Oh, you're talking about Joe Biden? <laughs> I think you're talking about Biden for both. Biden fucks, man. Dude, Biden does you fuck. You know Biden man. fucks. Dude, I saw a picture of uh, this guy on, on New York subway that looks exactly like Joe Biden, just like... French kissing this like large black woman and like she's grabbing his dick on the train. Someone was like, This y'all president? He's healing the divide. I need to see if I can find that picture, dude. Like, I gotta show you. It's literally looks just like Joe Biden. It was like, Come get y'all president. It's so goofy, dude. <laughs> American politics is just entertainment and sadness. It's entertainment that negatively affects tens of millions of people's lives, especially poor people and people of color. So, yeah. yay, entertainment. <laughs> Trump's so funny. There was a there is this uh never. Well, actually that gets political too. It's just a funny TikTok I saw. Let me see if did I did I like it? Let me see if I liked it. Oh, I didn't, did I? This is everyone seems to want to know what Darn. Well, I'm not even going to share what it was about. Don't. It's about Pakistan. Dude. <laughs> Oh, God, I just want to find this fucking... I'll find it and send it to you later. Or I'll show you tonight with cigars. Dude, I love this picture. You're, this, you're having a cigar with the boys, yeah. right? This fake picture of Donald Trump naked. It looks so it real. It does look really real. Maybe it is real. Israel. Israel! <gasps> oh, man. Yeah, no. Politics are a joke, though. And that's all I have to say about that for this one. Because... I just see people getting... I feel like I've talked so much about politics in 2020 on the podcast... That I've kind of said all, all that I have to say right now, and until more things happen, I'm I'm gonna take it back and focus more on the goofs. Yeah, because I I don't. It's just I don't want to depress well, people. I'll for, speak about me, what's right. Like I'll speak up for what's right, but I'm gonna try to stay away from it a little. For bit me, more. politics is just like so divisive, and it's making people just be shitty yeah all the time and i don't want to divide our fan base and uh well they're all right unless divided. you're a pedophile yeah then you're more than welcome but uh that's a joke that's yeah. that's one of the jokes i should point out is a joke i should i just remember sitting down just being sad because uh you know you, the phone is the only escape from the fucking house these days because you, you you're either sitting in your home or dwelling or you're looking at your phone or watching your TV. Mm -hmm. um, but like everything I see, that's an update. Because I want to stay up to date on what's going on with COVID, pol I know. politics. But nothing. There's no positive shit. Yeah. It's just all. It's it's either negative news and then under that negative news, just people spewing vitriol at each other. Just, it's just, just spitting acid back. <laughs> and yeah. it's like, especially Twitter, because Twitter is a fucking cesspool. toxic cesspool. Stole the word right out of my mouth. Hey. Uh, it is. Like, I love Twitter. Don't get me wrong. Twitter is... I'm always on it. I fucking love Twitter. I get so much entertainment and enjoyment. Oh, yeah, tweet right now. My Odds are world. you have to tweet right now. Hey, guys, I won't be releasing the album uh, on the 4th. I'm postponing it till uh, 2022. Odds are you have to tweet that out right now. And then you can go, Jay, this was for a podcast. 50. Three, two, one, Eight. one. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, speaking of which... Uh, as of now, my my first debut EP should be out on all streaming platforms. It's called Ouch, and I'd really like it if you guys could go check that out. I worked Ooh. many months on it. I worked hard. Uh, I'm nervous about releasing it because I don't know if, uh, y you know, I, I like it. I like what I made. I'm very happy with it. Um, sometimes I listen. I hate it. Sometimes I listen. I really love it. I don't know. I hope that for some people, though, for someone out there, at least, it's a special album to them, and they enjoy it and like the music. Go, so. go, go! Check it out, and uh, if y'all want just a 
a very brief you you've uploaded kind of like a little kind of like doo -doo -doo of of it but here's a here's a here's a brief uh sound of of uh from the album here i it's a good it's you were sharing this with me and i I was telling you how great I thought it was. Dude, what if I just released this on Spotify so everyone's like, it's finally here! I told you, this is what I was gonna do for my album, except I was <laughs> I was gonna actually record like my farts in the morning and me taking my shits in the morning and have them be separate tracks. Well, I <laughs> I love uh, And I was gonna name my I was gonna name the I was gonna do the cover similar to yours, except Owie. it was gonna be me on a on a toilet and it was just gonna say oops. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I wish you had. Like I wish you would just release like no, release it like an hour before mine. Like, hey guys, I made it. EP. Last night Jackson was like, hmm, I'll think about dropping an album on the fourth. There's nothing good happening that day. And I was like, okay, Jackson. Uh, but is that wait, Jackson said that? Yeah. At the time of recording this, it comes out in eight hours. So Woo. yeah, it does. You're gonna be up. I will. You're gonna be up. Maybe you'll still be over. Unless, hey, I gotta go back for Lego. It may I mean, I'm probably gonna leave before midnight. I, I leave gonna, at 127. Gonna be honest. I mean, Lego will have to see me before midnight. <laughs> Sorry, I was silent because I felt a burp coming on, but it's not happening. Oh. There it is. I have some gas in me. I have also like a burp and like suck it out? some bowels probably. Like you have bowel some bowels? My bowels are um, forming something. Really? You know how you can tell when your bowels are holding something or when it's forming something? My bowels are forming something right now. We should make a video game where you play as the digestive system Ooh. and you just got to make poop. And it's like... It, like that's the currency in the game. Like you just have to make the most poop you can. Okay. But you want it to be good quality poop. You don't want it to be bad, nasty. Yeah. How about a multiplayer game where you play as a digestive system and your friend does too, and it's whoever can make the most poop. You know. One hundred percent. It would be. It, it would look kind of like Doctor Mario, except instead of a puzzle game where the puzzles fall down, it's food coming down, and you have to try to send it to the correct places through the digestive system and. Like and a, you have to choose which food you're eating, which would better create the perfect poop. Or what about like if you have too much oh sugar, it's or too much, you know, caffeine, or you know, you have too many liquids and not enough, you know, you, you got to build a good consistency. Imagine it's like Doctor Mario, where like you know, when you make the combos, they disappear, and that's when it turns into poop, and you got to yes. make the most. Also, I don't think there's a single podcast out there that talks about feces as much as ours does. Good, like literally, I don't think I'd actually be very curious for someone. To, has you know there been what, a Matt? single episode we haven't talked about shit? I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to go to Spotify I'm sure there's podcast and just type in the word poop. I'm going to look up poop podcast. Poop podcast. Not the pop shop podcast. Medium popcorn pop. Ooh, poop cast. Poop cast. Poop cast with, uh, with Rachel. <laughs> what? This is poop cast. I'm Rachel. A seventh grader. Okay. okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, also, oh, Christian was streaming the other night because he streams three, four times a week on Twitch. He's finally getting a little fan base. He had, he had 10 viewers last night. He has a Discord. Jackson better watch out. I know. He's coming for Jackson's I know. viewer base. But, uh, but Christian's got a couple little dedicated fans now. I should go watch his streams. Uh, Christian underscore Zenf, X-E-N-F. But... Uh, he was in Harrison's room streaming because, you know, the fool doesn't have a bedroom because he's sleeping on the couch. I'm sure Harrison doesn't enjoy that too much. Oh, Harrison fucking hates it. Well, the funny thing is Harrison realized like, oh, I have my Bluetooth speaker in my room. We can connect to it while Christian's streaming. So Christian's streaming and uh, I <laughs> just someone clip it. N no, unfortunately, but I just connected and just started playing his stream. So it was just like <laughs> echoing back. And he freaked out and like knocked his webcam over and like ran to go turn it off. And then, <laughs> yeah. I, and then I and then I tried to play the poop song, but he had muted it. Was the poop? This is the poop song. Poop, poop, poop. Don't get a copyright stru struck. Damn, man. we got copyright struck for the poop song by the Toilet Bowl. Uh, <laughs> the album is called "Still Farting, Pooping, Puking, and Peeing." What a fucking song, dude. That's a great song. I'll uh, I'll send this to you in case Alla? you wanna. You wanna. You wanna send this to you? Sure, yeah, just send it to me through a iMessage. 
Okay. Don't. Hate when people say that. Yo, can you send me an iMessage? It's like, just say text. Just say I'm texting. He's like, no, but it's not text. It's uh, iMessage. I'll, 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 I'll iMessage you later about it. People are like, no, I, I think Justin does that. Our editor, Justin, he'll say, yeah, I'm going to send it. To, I'm like, how are you sending, sending it to me? And like through like Instagram DMs, he's like, iMessage. What a cunt. And in my head, I'm like, just, just say, I'm texting it to you. Why do you, I don't know. Maybe no, I honestly it's, it's think, a little pet peeve of mine. What what let's talk about pet peeves because pet peeves usually are irrational. You know, like that doesn't Someone has to have a dog named Peeve and so they can then say That's I have awesome. A pet, peeve. pet peeve. Yes, you know, this is my pet peeve. Right? Genius. Genius. Anyways, anyways, go on. You were you were you were in the middle what of What are something. some weird pet peeves you have? Or just normal Makeup, pet peeves you have? You know, that's one, you know. Mhm. Mm Would you call that a peeve? I, mm -hmm. I I find a peeve is something you're annoyed by, I'd right? Say it's more of a almost a phobia. Not like oh, I'm scared of it, but like like a an adverse reaction, like an odd, what, what whatever uh, fucking happened in my brain chemistry to make that happen Jim proves that I, I would have not survived long in, in the ancient times. Uh, but pet peeves, pet peeves. Um, I'm trying to think of really petty ones I have. I really don't like people being late, I think. <laughs> don't, that, this is not a direct. <laughs> no, the, the way you just instantly just stared at me silently. <laughs> well, you're the only one in the room. Who else am I going to stare at? Joe, Barry, Barry, get out of here. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> bye, Barry. Um. Oh, by the way, he hasn't had any pictures of a uh, sulfur in a while on Twitter, so oh, I think he'd appreciate it. Send, send Barry pictures of sulfur, but also, uh, with that uh, picture, say he did a great job on his recent uh how about that game about death stranding yes yeah he did i watched it so uh also barry appreciates pictures of dogs humping um but make sure sulfur is number one priority sulfur, here, but then guys. if you want to throw in some dogs humping but don't rat us out like last time like, oh, Matt and ryan said to do this uh i think well i i don't like the sound of chewing that like i can't control it but it makes me uh it's like this weird like uh, or chew, oh, and people chew with their mouths open. That's me. That gets me. I think that's only because uh, my stepdad Jim was a big old dumbass about. Yeah, mom, let him listen. Let him listen. Listen to this bit, okay, mom. I have one memory of of Jim that peeves me off, and uh, just one. He, well, this is this is this is the big chewing one. So I'm relaxing, right? I'm a child relaxing on the family couch watching TV, and I'm having a snack. That snack happens to be chips. What sound does, do, do, what sounds do chips make? Crunchy sounds, right? Yeah. Right? Like even Steve when, in Minecraft when he eats something. Even when your mouth is closed, there's there's a bit of a crunch. Which I, I hate that. Like, I of know course. that people can't help it, but like, it's just all the pet peeve. I think the Jim might be one of those people because I was chewing on some chips. He goes, damn it, boy. Chew with your mouth closed. And I'm like, um, I am. What did you just say? What? Are you talking back to me? <laughs> so he caught me in that. And mom, I just wanted to say, I thought that was a bitch move for Jim to pull. But now that I'm an adult, I could beat the fuck out of his ass. And so I hope he never challenges me again. Honestly, we could, if, if you and I tag team Jim, not in the sexual way, in the fighting way, we could absolutely destroy Jim. Mom, tell Jim, if he ever, ever tells me to chew with my mouth closed again, and I am doing that, and then he tries to pull this adult, are you talking back to me? I will fling him around and snap his neck so fucking quick. You hear me? Here's the thing. He'll say, you talking back to me? And I'll say, uh, yeah, I am talking back to you with my fists. And then. <laughs> I feel like but the thing, the thing that's funny is if Jim heard this, he, he would actually probably be like, I just think that that wasn't funny. It was just a. I just, you know, that was disrespectful. Exactly. My dad actually. But you know what I have to say to that? Because I'm an adult and what? I can, and I could beat Jim in a fight. <laughs> Suck my cock, Jim. Oh! <laughs> I my dad actually I do feel bad because last time I went home uh, I, my dad didn't tell me this but my brother-in-law told me he's like hey uh, I think that his feelings are actually kind of hurt but he does he never brings it up and I was like because of the dad rap everything he's like just all that stuff. <laughs> every go you have, like you called him at like something in the morning no I know I know fundraiser. and and my dad won't tell me this because he's he's nice about it but he I I think his feelings are actually a little hurt by it, by the goof when we do so I feel bad by just how much we goof on him. Mm -hmm. I love him though. I love Dale. Sounds Dale's like a, he just needs to get thicker skin. Exactly. He needs to just not be a pussy. You know, apparently, you know, he he always talks about these snowflakes, but 
The only the only one crying is him. I know. Go to your safe space, Dad. You want some crowns and a puppy? <laughs> uh, another pet. Po- oh, Jackson chews. When Jackson chews, it's not just with his mouth though, but but it's like it's like <clears throat> Jackson also misplaces <clears throat> his things, his more, wallet more dude. than more than I've never met someone anybody. that loses their shit. Like Jackson loses his. How wallet? many times did he lose his wallet in Japan? He left in a fucking taxi cab. Do you know how hard that was to get back? <laughs> Dude. We did it, but god damn, that was hard. I remember us having to call, like, the taxi companies and shit. Who doesn't speak English? We had to get a girl at a hotel. We went to, to like, a police area, and we were like, hey, and they were like, no. Bleh, bleh. They were like, we nope. do not speak English. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then Jax and I had to take a two-hour train ride outside of Tokyo to the taxi headquarters where they had it. And it was a fun trip, but god damn. He loses his wallet so much. But how? I don't know. And he doesn't have a tile. I keep saying, like, if you lose your wallet as much, just get a tile. Have he you noticed I haven't been losing my stuff as frequently? Remember no. Yeah, you haven't. Stuff? You used to lose your stuff and then rage freak out, and now you don't do that anymore. It's because, uh, well, I rage freak out because I do feel like I have a, a I don't know, I, I want to give myself an excuse for it, but I can't explain it. It's if I can't find something of mine, I can't focus or think about anything. Until I find it. Like, I will be anxious until I solve this problem. Like, yeah. I, I can't just be like, oh, I, I'll find my wallet later. Can you get me? Like, it's just, you can't move on. Like, everything has to halt. Yeah, I rem- like, there Dude, are times where I show. To- yes. What, what Dude, city was that? It was right that? before the fucking show. Which city it was your was- phone you couldn't find. Yes. What city was that? I can't remember. I think it, was it Texas? Yes, it was in Texas. Ryan, like, 10 minutes before you went on stage, you couldn't find your phone. And, oh, my God. That, it, that was the that was the worst I've ever seen. I was I felt really bad because you. you knew that because for me it's like if if I go on stage and I haven't solved this, I'm not gonna be able like I'm gonna I'm gonna perform and I'm gonna put on a show, but like there's gonna be something off. I know, and I was scared for that. I was like, oh no 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 no. <laughs> but found it, and I was trying to talk. To you. I was like, hey man, it's okay. I Listen, know. it's in here. And I was like, it. no, it's not, Matt. I it's not. I I'm. S-. And the thing is, I don't get mad at like you. I'll get mad at myself. I'll be like, I'm so no, you're just fucking stupid. High emotions. I'm, I'll, I'll literally, in this tone of voice, I'll be like, I just don't understand how fucking stupid I can be. Like, I, I, like, where do I put the stuff? Why do I hide shit from myself? But like, we that's did, how we I tore that myself. green room apart and it was nowhere to be found. And then it was just like, where was it? Like In, in the cushions? Yeah, the but couch? we took the cushions out. But, we still didn't see it. Exactly. That's, it was weird, but yeah. we found it right before we went on stage. And then you But were that was a nice movie. venue. I did, but that Wait a no, second. That no, was that was Orlando. Florida. Yeah, 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 yeah. it was Orlando because it was the big theater. Okay, so for those in Orlando, just know that literally, right? You know, we 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 play the video. We come out on st- on stage. Literally five minutes before you saw us right on stage, I was freaking the fuck out. Oh my god, let's put the. Uh we might put some live shows on Patreon, but why don't You've we? You've been saying that, and then people are going to make fun of you for saying that again because we no never promises. Do it. I, it's 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 a personal thing for us, but also I think well, why don't we put the intro to the shows though on Patreon, the video? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Let's we, do it. We I'll, them, I'll right? do that today. Do you have them on hard drive? Yeah, I have it at okay, home. I'll yeah, do that today. Good. good. So uh, go to our Patreon and check out the like seven minute show intro video. Very proud of it, actually. It's like a whole live action sketch type thing. You might need to write up a document to be like, hey, we're just dropping this out of nowhere. Because I feel like people, whenever we drop old stuff to them, it's like they're, we're throwing them the the scraps. No, but I mean, that's but what I mean, then we again, made Patreon for. It's just, Patreon is literally for that. Well, it's, <laughs> it's just, we, that's why stuff. we only made one tier and it's just $5. So it's like you can... If you if you want to help support us, you can, and we'll throw you some extra stuff every now and then. Yeah. Also, uh, Patreon recently added this new feature where if you want, you can subscribe to our Patreon uh, as an annual fee. So you just pay up front at the beginning of the year, and it's fifteen percent off. So uh, I think that means it's only forty five dollars for the whole year instead of sixty. Yeah. So if you and uh, our to, Patreon for a year is the price of one video game. And to those on social media, um, I just want to call this out real quick. And I do understand that. Um, yes, we don't post as much on Patreon as I guess some people would like. A lot of people I have read are fine with the content we put up there and we are starting to put up more content as we go through, but I would, I would please ask people on like Twitter and on our subreddit not to fucking blatantly lie and make us look bad about the Patreon. Cause when you say all we do is upload one Q and a a month, when we upload more than that a month, like, and like, I'll film 
a, a cooking video and eat some disgusting food and have that reaction or Justin edits a whole video essentially that's me and him reacting to something and you just don't like ever or I'll share you, like my music at yeah, a time or like you share you share like music sneak peeks which which most people don't ever hear behind You're, the scenes uh, photos yeah like the sketch we're working it's like on, just don't blatantly lie because then it just makes the Patreon can be can be bad in your eyes, but don't make it seem worse than it is just to make yourself seem like, uh, I guess, right in the situation. You can be right and you can can feel the way you do. You can be validated in the way you feel, but don't Here's bullshit and lie. Because I, I think that's just a shitty thing to it do. Is. And, and I have, notice it. We have slow months. It. We have slow months on Patreon, especially during quarantine. We have slow months and we, we should post on Patreon more and we're – trying to plan more stuff. Our problem is we just don't have any ideas for Patreon because like well, we, all, all we, of we the feel Patre- bad making exclusive videos for it yeah. where we don't put on the channel but then at the same time it's like well people pay $5 for it but I want to say we do have slow months but we were getting better at it just when, when Drunk Drawing comes back into play oh we'll have a lot which we were supposed to film it this week but next week you know I had a unfor- you know what usually I just don't share this much this is fine it's not even that personal we had to skip a work day this week, and so we had to skip filming Drunk Drawing because I had to take my little Lego boy to the vet because he had an ear infection. And I had to go to the a doctor. A really bad ear infection, and his ears are bleeding. And, Ooh. Uh, so they cleaned him out, and everything seems to be good. Um, I have to keep an eye on him, but then in three weeks I have to take him yeah. in again because it was a pretty bad one. But that's why, um, unfortunately, we didn't film Drunk Drawing this yeah. week. Yeah, and I had we'll a film, doctor's we're, appointment. We're hopefully filming it this week. You had Two doctors. I had one yesterday for kidney pain and one today for yeah. possible necro necro neck necrophilia. Ne- Anyways, no, no. What's the word? I just spaced out. <laughs> narcolepsy. Narcolepsy. I was like necro necrolepsy. Narcissism. Narcissism. Yeah. For narcissism. <laughs> uh, but what I was saying real quick is, is we do have slow months on Patreon, but we do post good stuff on there. In my eyes, I like what we post, and I think it's my main takeaway is it's stuff. not only a Q and A each month. Yeah, and but here's the thing: if you are not satisfied with the amount we post, or you just don't, don't think lie it's worth about it, it then That's you it. can just unsubscribe. It's okay. We're not upset. And if, please if don't, don't like lie. It, like it's at that the end of the day, you. it's five bucks a month. If it's not suitable, like if you're not happy with it, then we're not gonna be mad if you unsubscribe. That's okay. We have the Patreon mainly so because ad revenue is not good. And we don't really sell merch that often. Patreon is basically how we just fund all this and stay afloat. Yeah. Because uh, for the people who want us, guys su- give is amazing. Yeah. And people who support us give you extra content here and there. You do get a monthly Q and A. You. That's the thing with the Q and A is there to for make fun videos. Is is the Q and A is always there to just to make sure that we're interacting with you we're intera- we're interacting with you guys and it's not just us uploading like sneak peeks of something like we're. Because we like interacting with the Patreon. Oh, we love it. Um, also, we uh, not like we'll in, DM you back on Patreon sometimes. Sometimes it's there's so many DMs that yeah. you can't really every respond. every like maybe once or twice a month I'll go through and I'll <laughs> I'll respond to a bunch. Yeah, but you know, I mean, uh, well, that's where the energy is cut off for this podcast, and uh, <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode. You want to go beat our dicks, <laughs> my man. Oh, can you finish? That was disappointing for me, man. Like I saw the semen spraying out, but I can you stop talking? I'm trying to focus. Do you want to make sounds to help? Like, (gasps) oh yeah, Ryan, I'm sucking your cock. I don't want to make stop. I can be a girl. I envision you sucking my cock. No, imagine. Shut your eyes. Imagine it's a girl. Yeah, but the girl has your voice. Uh, you know what? It's gone. It's gone. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. You get hard. It's, gone. I'll it's, you get it's hard. fine. I'll help you get hard. It's fine. Here, here. I can wiggle it. Okay. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.